All right, so today what we want to talk about is basically how you can double your business, right? How you can double your business. And that's important because what is happening in the real estate business and the mortgage business right now is a lot of people are what? Shrinking, right? A lot of people are shrinking their business. A lot of people are going to have to get out of the business. In fact, NAR says that 30% of real estate agents who now have a license will not be in real estate next year. So I don't want it to be you guys uh, because I'm going to be here and we're going to be doing bigger and better and better things as ever. So I just want to do my part in helping you guys who care to be as successful as you want to be. Right. So uh, who was it? Who would be interested in doubling their business? Go ahead and go ahead. And give me a thumbs up or type in chat. Hey, I, I would definitely like to double my business. It's so easy. Right. Just so you guys know. So easy. I talked to agents for years and in the last 12 months traveling all around the country and outside the U.S., uh, I met with agents and the number one thing agents say they need are what? Qualified appointments. Well, here's the fact and what we know. Grant Cardone says no matter how good the leads are, 69% of people still won't call them. So um, I, I was, I'm coaching a team out of Louisiana right now and a real estate team and they're setting up their system. And I said, well, if don't have a system that's dependent on real estate agents calling the leads. They're like, well, what are you talking about? Because as a business owner, as a team leader, our minds work different, right? Our minds work different. You would think that people who are in sales know that they have to make calls every day. That's just like, that's like 101. I remember when I first got into the real estate business and even in the mortgage business, my first day on the job, I was telling them I needed the other day about this is they took me in a conference room, they gave me a script, and then we went over the script for about 30 minutes. Then they took me back to my desk. It's like, there's a telephone. And then they gave me the yellow page. That was not, that was in 99. Like that was like 1999. That wasn't that long ago, right? So they gave me a yellow pages and it was like, all right, that's it. You're training 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Absolutely. Time to go. Somebody's got to mute their phone. Somebody's, uh, doing some stuff all right all right and so that that was it 30 minutes of training and they were like just pick up the phone start dialing people in the yellow pages and i didn't know any better so i did it and all i did was we would we would sit next to people they put you next to a person that was having a lot of success which was very helpful and you got to basically hear what they said on the phone shadow them and then hopefully you could do half of what they could do and then you could be successful so that's Ended up working out very well. I went to work for a mortgage company um, back in 99. And the next year, they closed their office. And I'm like, what? You guys are making millions of dollars. Why would you close your office? And they said they didn't want to live in the city where the business was. They all wanted to live in Michigan. And I didn't want to live in Michigan. And so they said, well, you can stay here in the office space. It was a high rise on Peachtree. The building that says the equitable at the top, if you guys ever seen it. And I was on the top floor and it was a huge six, 7,000 square foot office. I was the only loan officer that everybody else left. And they said, you can have access to all the files. We still, the lease is paid. And it was paid for another, I think, four or five months. So I would go to work every day at 637. And I would stay there at nine o'clock at night. And then once the lease ended up closing, I was forced to open up my own mortgage company. I had no choice. I had nowhere else to go. I mean, I could, but at the time when I was there, what I was making was over a million dollars a year as an agent that had been in business for about nine months. I was making over a million dollars a year in commissions. And so I, I couldn't go work for anybody else because well, what were they going to pay me to work there? So I was forced to open up my own mortgage company that I'm going here. So I'm not trying to brag. I'm going here somewhere with you guys. Um, so I was forced to open up my own mortgage company. And then from there, we opened up, you know, eight, nine different mortgage companies until 08, 09. Then we came back in 2020 and opened up guaranteed home loans. So sometimes you won't be prepared for what you have to do next.